On the date, June 21st, 1977, the ship named Simpson sailed from Madras to Canada. On July 2nd, 1977, the ship was hit by a fierce storm and sank in the Pacific Ocean. Only one lifeboat was successfully lowered, carrying passengers consisting of Pi, a zebra with a broken leg, an orangutan, a fear-spotted hyena, and a 225 kilograms Royal Bengal Tiger. Pi tries to control the unruly hyena. Pi wants all the animals on the lifeboat to be calm and not panic. The hyena gradually obeys, eventually following its instincts to eat the weakened zebra. Not long after, the orangutan becomes the hyena's target. On the other side, Pi is sad and angry because his order not to let that happen is ignored. Unawarely, the tiger comes out of the covered part of the lifeboat. Pi has to leave the lifeboat because the tiger is aggressive due to panic and hunger. But Pi doesn't go far from the lifeboat. He stays around the lifeboat, keeping an eye on the lifeboat's condition. Occasionally, Pi comes to check on the tiger's state, if it's calm. But Pi always gets the fierce face of the tiger ready to eat Pi. Pi then moves away from the lifeboat, but not forgetting to occasionally provide water for the tiger. The tiger can't resist its hunger. Even though it can't swim, it boldly dives into the sea around the lifeboat to catch the fish it sees. Unfortunately, it fails and ends up trapped in the sea. On the other side, Pai, seeing the empty lifeboat, successfully regains control previously held by the tiger. But instead of leaving the tiger, Pai, who saw the tiger's resigned gaze, decides to help the tiger back into the lifeboat. While Pai tries to figure out how to lift the tiger, the tiger resignedly holds onto the edge of the lifeboat. And in the end, Pai successfully built a wooden staircase capable of lifting the tiger. Pai then moves away from the lifeboat and chooses to board his makeshift raft, located not far from the tiger's lifeboat. On a certain night, when Pai looks towards the crystal clear sea, even reflecting beautiful lights, suddenly a giant whale emerges from the sea bottom, opening its mouth, eating small fish, making Pai and his food supplies fall into the sea. As the food supply diminishes, an unexpected event occurs. A flock of flying fish chased by Tuner runs past the lifeboat. The tiger tries to get flying fish from that opportunity. Just like Pi, he dares to be on the boat to get the flying fish. A stroke of luck happens. One of the Tunas chasing the flying fish leaps and falls into a dinghy. In an instant, the fish becomes the focus of the tiger's eye and pie. The tiger tries to get the tuna amidst a pile of scattered flying fish at the bottom of the dinghy. However, Pai doesn't let the tiger take it. Pai intimidates the tiger with a stick. The tiger's initial reaction is rebellion but in the end, it complies with P's intimidation. Pai then takes the tuna, 
slicing it into small pieces to be eaten by both Pai and the tiger. With the small slices of tuna meat, Pai tries to tame the tiger to make peace with it. The method is by giving a piece of meat every time its command is obeyed by the tiger. Pai successfully tames it to follow his commands. He starts directing the tiger to enter the tark dinghy. Yes. In the silence of the night, the tiger stares blankly into the night darkness. Once, it gazes at its reflection in the water. This gaze seems to contemplate what it has experienced before being trapped in the small dinghy. On the other side, Pai observes the tiger's behavior, trying to engage with the tiger so it doesn't feel empty and void. A storm seems to be approaching the dinghy and P's makeshift boat. Pi prepares himself to face it. Lightning strikes the sea around the dinghy. Luckily, they are above the dinghy, thus avoiding the danger of electric shock. Amidst the storm, light sometimes peeks through the dark black clouds. Pi feels this is a beauty he wants to share with the tiger. Unfortunately, the tiger is too scared of the happening storm. Seeing this, Pai gets angry and shouts to God. Why is he scaring this tiger? After shouting, Pai tries to close the boat with the tarpaulin to make the tiger feel safe. Pai and the tiger lie limp on the dinghy. Under the shelter of the tarp, the storm begins to pass. But the situation is critical both for Pai and the tiger. Pai tries to cradle the limp tiger. Pai, just regaining consciousness after the storm, finds the boat without the tiger. Pai and the tiger are stranded on an island inhabited only by animals like squirrels and dense vegetation. Pai, with a weak body, tries to gather food such as grass and stems on the edge of the island. Soon after regaining strength, Pai starts exploring the island. He sees the tiger hunting a squirrel-like animal on the island. Pai smiles at the sight. Unnoticed, night arrives. Pai prepares his sleeping place on a tree, under which there is a small pond. Awakening at night, Pai sees that there are dead fish floating in the pond, beneath his tree. Pai tries to digest what caused the sight he just witnessed. Peace Thought concludes that the island comes alive at night. Bioluminescent, because it contains toxic compounds to prey on its food. Unconsciously, Pai decides to lead himself away from the island the next day. Arriving the next day. Pai starts preparing supplies in the dinghy for the journey with the tiger. Pai doesn't leave the tiger on the island. He invites it back into the boat to continue their journey and avoid the toxic compounds of the island. Pai and the tiger successfully reach the coastline. Pi's exhausted body approaches the shore. The tiger leaves Pi and ventures into the wilderness, a place believed to be its rightful home.
Before leaving, Pai is certain that the tiger looked back at him. Though in reality, it didn't. It simply leaves Pai without any farewell. The movie concludes.